We are live. We are live. Hello, everybody again. Welcome. Today is Saturday, and it is July 16th. Wow. Midway through the month, midway through the year. I'm happy to be here. Welcome back to ODE, Online Digital Education. And this is a community on Facebook, you know, that has educators, amazing people that collaborate with each other, you know, so that everybody can share their successes. So today is episode 144, and it is titled, Being Resilient is a Sexy Way of Being. And yeah, being resilient is an amazing thing, you know, uh, being able to just push forward, have that gritty attitude that, you know, nothing's going to stop you. So before we commence, let me go ahead and give you my full disclaimer. Now, please note that this is not for those who continuously make excuses or are expecting to get rich overnight. There's no Bitcoin here. There's no false promises, false guarantees. You know, there's no instant gratification. This is an opportunity to be part of a high quality mastermind that I'm a part of. You know, and this gives you an opportunity as well to collaborate with those people who are going through, have gone through similar situations and have overcome that, you know, with success. And I get an opportunity to guide you towards that mental success using NLP, you know, applying NLP methods that will actually help you with non-evasive techniques, you know, get just get a better understanding, get a better grip on your life to help you get past those things that cause us fear, anxiety, you know, uh, depression, low self-esteem, you know, those things. So it takes work, it takes commitment, it takes dedication. So if this is not something that you're willing to put in, then this is not for you. And that's okay, you know. And if you're looking to start and then quit in the next few weeks or months just because it takes work, well, then you're better off doing the same stuff you've been doing, and this is definitely not for you. And that's just temporary. Realize that everybody comes into their own eventually, you know. And when you're ready, NLP is always available to help you move forward in your life and keep moving forward. And by the way, this is my, my new toy. This is Stenia. Uh, she just keeps me company when I'm doing English classes or teaching, educating, and, uh, you know, she's just here for the ride again today. So let me start you off with a great quote by Lawrence Albert Al Seibert. And he was an American author and educator. He was best known for his research on psychological resilience and the inner nature of highly resilient survivors. And he said, your mind and attitudes create either barriers or bridges to good outcomes. And that's really important because, yeah, we either put a barrier between us and success or we create that bridge that leads us towards that ultimate outcome, you know, of feeling great, feeling successful you know, at any level, really. You know, it, it, success is defined by so many different ways. It's not about money. It, it could be success in just creating a smile. So the ultimate question is, are you resilient? It's a good question to ponder. See, life is full of ups and downs. So when challenging experiences inevitably arise, you want to be ready to rise to the occasion. Your ability to bounce back after a transition or hardship determines whether most of your life is enjoyable and meaningful or troublesome and frustrating. You know, this idea can be summed up in one word, resilience. The more resilient you are, the quicker you're able to readjust to a situation and move forward in life. So consider these ideas that you think about your own resilience, and they just may help you get past that next little issue or problem that you have, you know, keeping you stuck. So I got together here uh, five tips that I'd like to, you know, help you with. First, first responses. Okay, when something initially begins to trouble you, how do you respond? Maybe you bury your head in the sand and hope it goes away. A lot of people, you know, sweep it under the rug as well. Perhaps you just ignore the situation and pretend it isn't happening. That works temporarily. If you're resilient, you'll choose to approach the situation head on and promptly. You want to do that quickly. You don't want to let it linger. If it's not necessary, don't let it linger. You'll define the issue. You'll consider your options. And then 
you make a plan. You'll set out, you know, the right way to resolve the situation before it becomes full-blown issues. And that's usually the best way to handle it, you know, right then and there, you know. It's not that critical if you can talk about it. So promptly employing problem-solving skills will help you avoid a major meltdown. And number two, you want to approach your past events. Go back to the past. Try, you know, do you try to forget about your prior challenges? Instead, try applying what you learn from them to navigate present and future situations. When you reflect on what you've been through, you'll think about the mistakes that you've made. But you'll also be excited about how to handle you know, some situations and use those skills again. The energy required to try to forget something important draws heavily from your present resilience, wearing it down. Alternatively, focusing your energies on the lessons and skills you've learned from the past experiences, that builds up your resilience. And third, daily practice. Practice, 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 practice. You know, with practice, we just become that much better in what we do. So do you work to accomplish something, however small, each day? Or do you find yourself watching, you know, entire days go by while you sit and brood or feel sad or angry? You know, in order to improve your resilience, consider each day an opportunity to do something positive. Even if it's just one thing, okay, on a day off, all right, this might be something as simple as going for a walk or cleaning the living room. Your practice today could even be finishing a novel or calling a friend you haven't talked to in ages. What do you do with your life, you know, each day that provides you meaning, you know? Those are little small wins that are going to get you that much further and create that resiliency in you so that you don't fall into that, you know, negative thought that, uh, I can't do this or I don't want to do this because I feel sad or depressed. Be resilient, face that, and get on with your day. Create that small win. Number four, your support network. Now, this is really important because do you have plenty of friends and family to call on if you need something? Resilient people build a supportive system of people they can visit, call, talk to, and turn to whenever they hit troubled waters. You know, it's like having a mastermind alliance, and actually it is a mastermind alliance. You have all these great people in your life, you know, that are there for you when you need them so that you can find solutions, so that you can, you know, ask questions, get advice, you know, get some tips. If you feel like you're all alone, start building your support network today by setting a goal you know, to make, let's say, one new friend within the next month. That's 30 days. You know, on Facebook, a lot of people do that. The whole thing is that once they friend somebody, they stop talking to them. You know, if you friend the person, you know, get to know them, ask them, you know, common questions. You know, how are you? Where are you from? You know, get to know where they live, what, what, what their, their, their life is, where they are. You know, find that connection which usually we do have, and then build on that. And that's going to help you, you know, create friendships. And lastly, who matters to you most? Do you treat yourself as if you're the most important person in your life? You know, are you your own best friend? When you take care of your own needs, you'll be more resilient when a crisis goes like this and knocks on your door and it says, hey, man, here's a crisis. If your own health and living situation are at the top of your priority list, you'll be prepared to face any hardship, be it emotional or physical. You know, taking the time to keep yourself in tip-top shape physically and mentally builds your reserves, you know, of resilience whenever trying situations and events occur. And I know it sounds pretty, pretty basic, pretty easy. It's not easy. It's simple you know, as a concept, but it's not easy because we have all these thoughts that prompt us to want to create a barrier. Don't create a barrier with all these, you know, unhealthy thoughts. Create a bridge, you know, find a way across that bridge 
And I've given you five ways that you can start crossing that bridge. Challenges, transitions, and hardships will invariably arise in your life from time to time. That's just life. Life kicks you in the butt at a daily basis. Kick it back. You don't see how it likes it. If you confront situations immediately, use knowledge gained from prior trying events and build your support network, you'll be on your way to constructing resilience for your future. Do one small thing for yourself each day, and before you know it, you'll weather the storm with ease. You know, this is what kids do. This is why I love working with kids, because kids are super resilient. And you've heard the saying, right? And I'm going to paraphrase here, kids are harder than a nut. Uh, yeah, when they shut down, you can't penetrate that, that kid. So they're resilient because they, they keep at it. They don't, they don't even think about any kind of negativity. They're just like, I got to walk. I got to do this. I'm curious. Those are resilient values that you can acquire or re you know, visit within yourself to keep you moving forward. Now, I'm giving a free five-day series on self-esteem, self-confidence for this whole month of July to 10 people. And I'm doing one-on-one -on -one sessions to help you experience NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And on day one, we'll be doing appreciating your strengths. On day two, affirming and accepting who you are. On day three, eliminating negative self-talk. That's a huge one. On day four, eliminating toxic relationships. And on day five, affirming others. Now, neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, is a pseudo-scientific approach to communication, personal development, and psychotherapy created by Richard Bandler. Therefore, NLP is a very cool way to effectively understand yourself through non-invasive techniques. They're not going to hurt you. If anything, they're going to make you feel great, and you can, lose, you can use them over time, or for the rest of your life, actually. So neuro would stand for the question, who doesn't get nervous at a daily basis, right? So neurology, it's your nervous system. Linguistic, who doesn't talk to themselves daily? We all do. I do. I talk to myself on a daily basis. Sometimes I go on a tangent with crazy stuff, and simply because life is that crazy, but I catch myself. And as soon as I catch myself, I push that back, I change the script, you know, and I keep it positive for myself. And then programming is the ability to control our own thoughts with positive outcomes. You know, retraining your brain, feeding your brain something different than an unhealthy thought. You know, my greater purpose is helping 688,000 people realize their magnificence over the next five years. Yeah, with empowerment thinking for success. And the goal of life coaching is to give people the understanding, the mindset, tools, processes, and techniques of mastering their lives so they can take charge and live the life that their desires you know, and values are. So rebuilding my BS, my belief system, not my bullshit, okay, optimizing my confidence, you know, that has created an invaluable foundation for my pursuit of self-life mastery. This is just the tip of the iceberg. NLP will help you realize your success in personal health, wealth, and make you wiser as you start to live a magnificent life of abundance. And I truly mean that. Abundance is not just money. Abundance is an abundance of happiness, abundance of, of let's say, inner values like integrity, loyalty, you know, trust, uh, fidelity, which is huge in South America. You know, so you can live a life of abundance, you know, by mastering yourself. NLP is a powerful model that will help you with best formed outcomes. It's also the ultimate brain management toolkit. It really is. If you can manage this, you can manage anything. So remember, you're magnificent. I believe you're magnificent. You must believe you're magnificent as well. You know, let me know and leave a comment or come and visit me at ODE, Online Digital Education. You know, it's a group on Facebook of amazing people that collaborate with each other, share experiences, 
And I get an opportunity, again, to guide you towards your mental success. You can leave a comment on my news feed. You can go to Messenger, leave me a private message there. I would be more than happy to answer you, get back to you, have some friendly banter. It's something I do on a daily basis. You know, I also look forward to seeing your personal success and interviewing you live on my community. That would be an amazing thing so that you can share your best outcomes with others who are going to say, wow, I've been through that, but I was feeling a little, little shy about it. I, want, I didn't want to talk about it, but listening to somebody's best outcome also helps others. So remember, I helped 600, and I will be helping 688,000 people over the next five years. That's my personal goal. I would just love it if you were one of them. So my name again is Gabe, Gabriel. And this is Saturday, July 16th. And this has been episode 144, titled, Being Resilient is a Sexy Way of Being. It really is. It's extremely sexy. And you're going to love being resilient. Thank you so much for listening. I look forward to answering your questions. You guys have a great day. And God bless.